All right, we're back. Now, where were we? Let's, uh, there's a scroll. Let's see, we're level three. Might want to be going for the Gnomish Mine soon. I tend to kind of go there probably a little earlier than I should be because I really like to get to Mine Town. There's an altar there, which might be uh, co-aligned, which would be useful. And uh, there's also stores. A lamp, ooh. Okay, there are two kinds of lamps. Oil lamps and magic lamps. We have no idea what kind this is. The best way is a uh, price identification to uh, figure it out. I'm going to adjust um, this to L. That's what I usually use for my lights. Another way to find out is this. Magic lamps never run out of oil. So um, if it runs out of oil, you know it's an oil lamp. The main difference other than that is magic lamps you can rub to sometimes get wishes, but you don't want to do it unless it's blessed, because you've only got a one-fifth chance of getting a wish if it's uncursed. And if it's cursed, you got like a 10, no, a 5% chance or something? If it's blessed, though, you got an 80% chance. What's that? Okay. This is a sink. The main thing you do here is that you can uh, drop a uh, rings in there, to, and it'll give you certain messages for each ring, and you can then try to identify them based on those messages. However, you will usually lose a ring doing so, so it's better to do it for rings you have multiple rings of. At present, I don't think we even have any rings. Yep, no rings. So that's not particularly useful. Well, that's a lot of potions of extra healing. Okay, I'm going to finish exploring this level, and then I think I'm going to uh, take a look down in uh, the mines. Okay. Oh, whoops, trap door. Okay, um... Okay, we kind of went down a bit. Is that, um... Yeah, that's just a... Aga Hotchling. I'm going to... Throw some arrows, some darts at it. Even when we're in melee, it's probably best to use uh, darts here, because that's going to deal more damage than our fists. Okay, now, I think these can give you poison resistance. Let me look it up quick. Looking it up? Okay, um... Guardian Naga Hatchling. You can often, uh, I suggest I'm looking this up on the NetHack Wiki. Very useful. Let's see. Yes, you do have a chance of getting a, um, get a, chan a chance of, uh, poison resistance, and they're not poisonous, so eat. Oh, giant ant. Oh, that's a pain. Oh, uh, let's kill it. Well, at least it's not a soldier ant. Ooh, those things really can deal a bunch of damage. Okay. Okay, let's um get that uh potion. There we go. Ugh, this is gonna be a pain. Come on. There we go. Okay. Now let's get our darts. What is it now? Is this a Oh, werewolf. Jackal. Ugh. Trying to decide if I should uh, fight this thing or not. <sighs> okay. Still a bit of a way, so let's quaff this. Alright. There we go. One thing, and then another enemy comes. I want to pick these up so they can't just, uh, you know, pick them up and hit me with them. Okay. Where were we? Now let's finish eating this. Poison resistance. That's, if you feel healthy, that means you've got poison resistance, which is great. It uh, saves you from uh, some uh, deaths, as well as uh, you can eat more corpses. 
Oh, hey, it's the Oracle level. Ah, oh, M for mummy. Let's just, uh, kill it. Still can't believe we haven't gotten any, um, melee weapons yet. I mean, we haven't even found them any. Okay. See, this, uh, that at symbol, that's the Oracle. It's surrounded by some fountains. Normally what you do is, uh, you talk, chat with, you would chat with it and get some hints, but, uh, you know, it's usually better to just look these things up online. I think it does give you a small amount of experience, though, so it's actually, uh, not a bad thing to do, um, if you're going for, say, a pacifist ascension. Yes, that is possible to do, to, uh, win the game without ever killing anything. It's difficult, but it's possible. You mostly use, uh, have your pet handle it for you, and you can get some levels up that way. Okay, go up. I'm not even going to bother with the acid blob. Okay. Plus, I think that thing can corrode weapons. Okay, let's see. Alright, um... We were... Oh yeah, well, of course, we have to go back up. Come on, kitten, follow me. Okay, what's this thing? A oh, homunculus. Okay. Alright. Those well, things can sometimes put you to sleep, but didn't in this case. Alright. Oh, we didn't even finish uh, exploring this. Let's take a look. Yeah, I'm going to be heading to the Dwarvish uh, Mines. Uh, we can maybe get some uh, equipment there. What's this? Okay. Let's try to untrap. One more time to be sure. Okay. I don't think it's quite as important now because uh, the we're a higher enough level that we can't possibly just get killed by a trap, but still something to uh, keep in mind at these lower levels. Alright. That's like a rust trap. It can rust stuff. Hmm. Let's try. Actually, let's try going this way. Search. Okay, what's here? Okay. All right. Okay, let's see. Still go. No, we go up, not down. Oh, I'm bad at this game sometimes. Oh, yeah, like that. Walk straight into it, without paying attention. Good thing that wasn't a floating eye. That You don't want to attack floating eyes in melee, and in fact, sometimes you can just accidentally run into them. Is that a... That's a nymph. Oh, crud, that's a nymph. Um... Let me think here. The problem with these guys is they can steal your stuff, and then they teleport away. Normally, what I would do is I would try I would try to take it out from a distance. Go down several squares and just fire darts at it. We've got our pet coming, and it could attack um, it prematurely. This is what I'm going to do. This is this is a very useful thing you should be aware of. Albereth. Uppercase E to engrave. I'm going to do a hyphen to do with your fingers. Or what I'm going to write is Albereth. Basically, uh, if you're on a square that has this, most monsters will actually run away. Keep in mind, though, that when you're doing it with your fingers, it erodes. And uh, of course, and sometimes you might not even. Uh, there's a chance of you uh, failing on one of the letters. So just because you engrave it once doesn't mean the enemies will immediately leave you alone. I'm. It's better to start doing this prematurely. Like, let's take a look. Uh, use colon to look. Yep, we actually did it right that time. To do it prematurely. Uh, that way, when the by the time the enemy comes to you, it'll run away. So let's do this. Basically, the goal here is that this will make the nymph.
can't, uh, won't teleport unless it steals something. So as long as the pet isn't carrying anything, they won't uh, steal it. So we're just going to do this. It will flee and leave us alone, and it'll let our pet kill it. Oh, you might notice it's a house cat instead of a, a little cat. Yeah, once it gains enough levels and experience, it will turn into a house cat, and then a, a large cat later on. Okay, what do we have here? All right, a potion. Now, if there's a potion left by a nymph, usually it's an object detection potion. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to choose C. The difference between uh, B and C is B will just name that specific item. C will name all items of that type. So, uh, let's see. What was it again? Um, oh, crud. I forgot what it, what, what, what it was. Let me, let me check what was. Did we, we picked up a fizzy, a fizzy potion. Yes. C. Use K. Call it. I'm going to call it object detection with a question mark. It's probably object detection, but not necessarily. By the way, as you might have guessed, that if you quaff it, it'll show you all the objects on the level. All right. You've also got a mirror. Oh, wait, dog. Ooh, that's a bit of annoyance. Those things can actually deal a lot of damage to you quickly. There we go. Now, now seems to use enough time to quaff that uh, extra healing. There we go. Uh, the mirror, you can apply that in the direction of a monster to uh, make it afraid and run away. It's, uh, the biggest time I think is useful is it's a way to make a sea monster, like a giant eel, uh, let you go if it's uh, wrapped itself around you. Because they can do that, and uh, if you don't get... If you don't immediately get out of there, then you'll die next turn. Ooh, uh, let's, um, that's a gas spore. When it, uh, dies, it deals damage to adjacent locations. We have the health to, uh, deal with it, but in this, uh, but let's do it from a distance just to be safe. There we go. All right. Um, dang, is our pet, um, this way? It just... There we go. Okay. It usually follows you around, but sometimes it can sort of get lost. Alright, now we need to find the other one. Is this a hobbit, I think? Yeah, okay. A sling. Not really a great weapon. It's mostly used to, like, uh, throw stones and uh, have a higher um, chance of hitting and damage. Kind of like what you would do with an arrow and um, a bow. I'm really hoping we get um, something soon, because, um, I mean, the darts can only last so long. Like I said, because of the enchantment, they've got a lower chance of breaking, but they can break. Come on. All right, here we go. No mission mines. Let's give it a go. This is a decent place to get some equipment, although it can be a bit dangerous also. Now, the gnomes and the uh, dwarves, that's the H, uh, H for humanoid, will be hostile to you if you're a tourist. Um, gnomes will usually, uh, sorry, dwarves will u generally leave you alone if you're lawful. Gnomes and uh, dwarves will generally leave you alone if you're a gnome or a dwarf. Well, none of that's true, so we gotta deal with all of them. Okay. So, what to do? First, let's let the stuff come to us. Possibly let the pet deal with some of them. Or if you'll pickaxe. Okay. Throw the darts at the um, gnome. Okay, now let's try the dwarf. Okay, gotta keep an eye on your health. Ugh, getting surrounded. Ah, see, and then the gnomes can pick up your stuff, which is a little annoying. Now they're throwing them at me. Okay, we got them. Now, uh, let's, uh, get these.
Pickaxe. Okay, that's not a bad weapon to have. Um, let's uh, kill it and we can get that uh, pickaxe. Okay. So we've got some uh, equipment now. Okay. Let's see which ones of these are cursed. So we're just going to drop these and see which ones the uh, cat will step on. Probably kill these guys in the meantime. Huh. And now they're getting those, uh... Okay. Okay. Oh, went down, stepped on a magic trap. Okay. Let's get these. Daggers actually aren't bad weapons either because they've got a uh, hit uh, two hit bonus. Okay. Okay, so where were we? Okay, so we got these things. Come on, let's check it out. Come on, Pat, get here. Ugh, still eating the thing. It takes a little while to do that. Might as well just directly hit it. Okay, so come on. Okay, so this is okay. The scroll is okay. As did, are those shoes. Okay. Come on. Okay, so let's tr put these on. Again, we're just testing if they're cursed or not. Okay, the cloak doesn't really, uh, usually they don't give armor class unless they've been enchanted. The reason to wear them is because they give you a magic cancellation of one. There are three levels of those that different armors can have. Uh, one, two, or three. The higher it is, the better your chance of resisting some uh, attacks. Uh, MC3, uh, MC1 gives you about a one-third chance, MC2 gives you about a two-thirds chance, and MC3 gives you an almost 100% chance of resisting those attacks. There are several different things. For example, um, the drain life level that uh, vampire uh, attack that vampires can use on you, for example. There are several different um, things. Uh, it's not exactly like one-third, two-thirds, but it's around those, so that's the easiest way to think of them. Okay. Let's see if this one is, um, uh, what happened? I don't know what it did. I'll just put attack because, well, they attacked me with it. So I know it's an offensive potion if I see it again. All right. Let's, uh, we don't need that. Uh, let's see. Uh, because this one will either be that or, uh, have an armor class. Well, it didn't, but it's good enough. Now let's try these uh, hard shoes. By the way, we're burdened. That we, that means that we're carrying too much, and it makes us slower. You definitely don't want to be burdened when you're uh, dealing with uh, enemies, but there's not really any around other than that uh, gnome, but that's not an issue. So that's not a problem. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're, bo they're both the same here. Now, I think both of the pickaxes are okay. I'm not really sure exactly which one, if either one is necessarily better, but uh, let's wield this one. I'll just adjust it to A. That's what I usually have my primary weapon on. Don't need this one. Yeah, those things are actually kind of heavy. Okay, what do we... Um... Okay, so the hard shoes gave uh, brought our armor class down a little. The biggest problem with those things is that they, um, oof, 
Hope we didn't get... Okay, oh, by the way, fun fact, if you destroy that and then it kills a pet, you get, um, you get blamed for that. So that's why you, I was not attacking it when the pet was nearby. Okay, there's that. Um, let's... Oh, we didn't finish that, uh, food ration. Yeah, when you're partially, uh, some of these take several turns to eat. So if you're interrupted, then it'll just be partially eaten. Well, partly eaten, not partially. Okay. Now let's, uh, find the stairs leading downward. Here we go. So the pickaxe is actually a pretty decent weapon. Not to grace, but it's decent, and it'll give us more of an edge in melee. Okay, um... What is this? Ah, what, what's... Sorry, I accidentally hit the wrong thing. Okay. I thought, I thought maybe that might be a corpse, in which case we might be at a bones level. When you're playing these on nethack.alt.org, sometimes, if a player dies on a level, it'll reload that level for a new player. Which I think is kind of cool. Kind of gives you, you know, the b bigger feeling of, oh, this is actually something you're doing this after someone else tried. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of enemies we're getting. Um, I'm going to put in some Elbereth action to uh, make it so that I don't have to deal with all of them at once. There we go. Okay. We're missing, you might know, is that's because we're unskilled in, um, the pickaxe. We have to hit them enough times for that to, uh, for that penalty to be gone. There we go, okay. Even if just briefly this is a way to make enemies go away. Yeah, let's be a little careful here. We are kind of going on a lower um, level. Okay. Yeah, let's get these. Because when there's a lot of Elberfs on a square, it will, um... It will, you know, make them erode slower because there's so many more. If it just one of them gets eroded, the others might not. Oh, yeah, and by the way, you might be noticing they're still attacking me from a distance. They can do that through Elbereth. Uh, whoop, uh, let's try that again. Right now, I think I feel a little more safe just letting the uh, cat do it. The gnomes aren't that bad individually. The problem is that they can swarm you like they uh, were and hit you for a bunch of damage. Okay, we killed the gnome. Hobbit. By the way, one class of enemies, for example, that isn't affected by Elbereth, if the enemy is an at symbol, it is unaffected. There are some others, but that's like the big one to remember. Okay, so, we've got some darts, might as well pick them up. They won't be plus two most likely, but it's still decent. Pick this one up, and yeah, get the fortune cookie. Okay. Yeah, dwarves are the ones that actually will be having the weapons and armor, most likely. They're where you will usually be getting the dwarvish mithril coats. Now, we got lucky again and found one ourselves, but uh, that's usually where you would find one if you're looking. Elves can have elvish mithril coats, but you'll usually find them later, and they're, they don't have quite as high of an armor class, so it is still high. Okay. Ooh, so many enemies to beat. A little worried about our health. I mean, I know 33 isn't low, but better safe than sorry, you know? Okay, get some gold. I'll get it. I'll pick up the diggers just in case. Okay. Oh, joy. Um, that Y, that's a that's a yellow light. Um, those things will blind you. Um, okay, I, I just gotta try to kill it from afar. 
Ugh, dang. Just gotta wait it out. And hope no enemies attack you in the meantime. That unseen monster was probably our pet. Because it wasn't attacking us. Come on. Shouldn't be taking this long. No, we don't have, um, used up... Whoops, sorry. We used up the, um... The extra healing, which I believe actually will cure blindness. Yeah, I wish we had a unicorn horn. That cures it. Oh, man, this blindness is taking a while to wear off. There we go! Okay. Um, yeah. We already got our hard shoes. Aw, oh, dang. Pickaxe rusted. Okay, um... Uh, let's uh, get rid of some of these. Let's go get that pickaxe that it dropped. Okay, um... That's because uh, this one is not rusty. So we will wear it. Wield it. By the way, um, let me just double check enhance. Oh, we can increase start. I missed that. Whoops. Must have missed the message where it said, uh, you feel you could be more, uh, dangerous. Or, no, that's not what it was. You... I can't even remember what the message is offhand, but it appears. Okay, um, let's keep looking. By the way, when something rusts, it means it's less effective. It will, um, it'll, uh, hit less, um, frequently, and also will, um, uh, deal less damage. Okay. Let me just double check. Did I miss it? Nope, still unskilled. You'll see something appear next to it, uh, to increase it, your skilling it if you can. Why doesn't it do it automatically? Well, you only have so many lessons, as they, uh, say, to do it. You gain one per level. It uh, takes, I think, one level to go from unskilled to basic, uh, two from basic to skilled, and three from skilled to expert, or something like that. And they build up. They're sort of a hidden trait um, when you uh, go up in level. Hmm. Which way can we... Oh, this must be it. Oops. Ah, when you're wielding it, um, and you try to walk into, uh, oh, let's get rid of the diggers, a, uh, wall, it'll actually, uh, destroy it for you. Ah, oh, rust trap joy. Ugh. Okay, here. We'll just dig this way. That way we, we can st pass through it without having to step on the trap. Horn. Okay, what kind of horn is this? Let's find out. Sometimes horns can, uh, like, uh, shoot out a uh, fire or ice, and those can reflect on you. So you want to make sure you aim in a direction where there isn't a nearby wall to reflect it on. Apply. Improvise. Yes. Okay, that's, um... Oh, I can't even remember what that is. Let me check quick. Because there's different kinds of horns, and I can't really remember many of them. Oh yeah, I think that's just a regular tooled horn. Oh yeah, it um, using it will awaken and scare nearby monsters. So it's just a regular t um horn. Let's uh name it now that we know what it is. It's uh, called a tooled horn, technically. So we know if we find any others, it's not the other ones. The other kinds are a horn of plenty, which gives you food, and those uh, horns of fire or frost that I mentioned. Whoops. Went right into it. Wasn't even trying. Thought that was a blank space. Come on. Here we go. Wait for it down. Alright, here's where our magic mapping uh, scrolls come in handy. They make it easier to traverse the mines. Normally it wouldn't be, I don't use them unless it's a dark level like this one is. 
So we just read it. Voila! Now we know where everything is. Having a light source like uh, the lamp is also quite useful. Okay, nothing big here. Got a potion. I'm hoping there's some good stuff in on Mine Town. There's a lot of times really useful stuff there. If we're really lucky, the, the altar might be coal line, so we can sacrifice stuff at it. Now, you can sacrifice stuff at a cross-aligned altar that is like an altar uh, for, like, the uh, chaotic or lawful deities. In our, but, um, th and that has a chance of turning it into an altar of your kind. Problem is, the one in my town always has a priest, and they get really angry if you try to do that. And they will attack you, and we're not at a good enough level to handle them. Okay, we gotta get rid of something. Hmm, I wonder if we really need these darts. Well, we are hungry. That's a way to fix it. There. Oh, dang. Made us lightheaded. Ugh. That makes us confused. Sometimes you'll go in a different direction than you want to, which is problematic when you've got your pet next to you. I'm just going to search to let some time go by. Okay, we're no longer confused. Now we can attack the Gnome Lord. Okay. Okay, confident in weapon skills. Perfect. Enhance pickaxe. Great. Now we no longer have that penalty and we'll be able to hit much more frequently. You might notice we're not like missing as often, that's why. What's this? Uh just ring mail, more body armor. Come on, give me some shoes or something. Wait, we already got shoes. Give me a hat or something. Um, where'd our pet go? Ah, oh, there it is. Come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. Problem is when they eat them, they just kind of sit around while they're doing it. Okay. All right. Okay, where were we? Oh, wow, uh, this is where we're going to be ending this video. See you next time! Didn't realize how much uh, time we had gone by.